Good evening, everybody. Old Cappy Boy here once again, and we got another La Croix here. Now, the first one I had was um, kind of mixed. I didn't really care for it. It tasted a little weird. Uh, but now I've chosen a more, I guess, normal flavor, because the other one was like, you know, cherry blossom flavor. I've noticed, like, their flavors are a little out there, I guess. Not, I mean... You know, it's like tangerine orange kind of thing, but like it's not like normal base flavors like lemon, raspberry. They're always like something. So when I say this one is their most normal sounding flavor, I guess it's because it's just straight up plum, supposedly. This one's called beach plum, though, because it's got a beach aesthetic. You know, it's warming up and there's, you know, half of a plum pit and all. You know, um, I'm interested in this one. It's... Like I said, it's 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 like a base flavor here. And it's unique enough that, you know, there's not a ton of plum flavored things out there. Plum is kind of like, in my opinion, like a cross between a peach and maybe an apple in that regard. So it's got like a little bit of a richer flavor. So we'll see if that really comes out in this. It's really nice. Where'd they take this picture? Probably off the beaches of France somewhere, I suppose. Though I don't know if the skies are that you know, clear, and the water looks crystal blue. Anyway, let's take a look at the nutrition facts and ingredients. It's in yellow, which is really hard to read on this shiny silver can. I'm sorry if that's the uh, case for you guys, but I'll read it out to you. Um, the serving size is one can. Zero calories, zero fats, sodium, carbs, and protein. You know, it's just water, really. Ingredients only carbonated water not that you could read it because that yellow is such a bad color um and naturally essenced and there's a little asterisk there uh non-gmo is the asterisk so that's pretty good i guess i don't know i'm not really too miffed on gmo versus non-gmo nonsense to be honest um Let's pour it in. It's not going to have any color, but we have to show it off anyway, just in case you're like, oh, no, Chaz, there's a, there's a hint of color there. Well, it's for you to look at, too, but I don't think there's going to be any color. Yeah, look at that crisp and colorful list, not colorful. Quite fragrant, actually. I can smell the essence of fruit from a few feet away up close. What is it like? That smells quite, it smells like a like an actual plum fruit-ish. I mean, I don't have a ton of experience with plums. I don't really mess with them that much. I don't eat them outright. But yeah, it certainly smells quite fruity. You could probably say it smells quite legitimate. Let's sip. Ooh. All right, first sip I got, just very watery kind of thing. And then, like, right towards the end into the middle part of the taste, it's just a little boop of flavor. It's strong enough that it's like a impact, and then it goes away just as fast as it comes in. It's a nice enough that, like, I like the taste. It tastes very, um, I'll say it kind of tastes peachy plummy ish it's it's really really fast though so it's like you get a taste of it and then it goes away so you may want to be like well i wish it lingered a bit longer um but for some it's probably like just enough maybe you just want like a watery taste let's have a little sip more let's see what else I am kind of getting, like, a herbal taste as well. And maybe that's just, like, how they essence the water or whatever. Because this is naturally essenced instead of, like, natural flavors. It's kind of, like, herbally. And I'm not really keen on it. It just... Mm, it doesn't detract from the nice fruity flavor that it has. But it's still not nice. I could have a different brand of sparkling water and I wouldn't taste this. So, as nice as, like, the Beach Plum is, eh, I kind of am hoping that another brand does the plum flavor so I don't have to have that little herbally taste. And I think it worked better with the um, Cherry Blossom flavor because, like, that by itself was a herbal taste anyway. 
So they kind of combine. Now you're getting like this fruity flavor and then this herbal taste that's like, they don't mix as well. It's still acceptable and I think it's better tasting than the uh, cherry blossom. But I don't know, I'm not like super loving this either. It's it's good enough though. So I'm going to put it as like rotational bench piece out of rad because it'll do... If there's no other flavors of sparkling water out there, I'll be like, all right, I'll take this one. But I could choose something else, and I'd like it a little bit more. But that said, the little pucker of flavor that'll get will be nice for some of you guys.